In bubble, horizontal repeating groups are a special kind of repeating group, as you see on this screen. So if you have been wondering how to build a horizontal repeating group like this in bubble, stay tuned, this is the video for you. To start off this video, I've got a bubble editor set up with a little page where we're going to build our horizontal repeating group. And the data that we're going to be using for this is something from an existing app. So I'm just going to show off real quick what I have in this app. Um, I have some different types of classes, some yoga stuff, meditation, high intensity interval training. What we're going to be doing here is we're actually going to look. So I'll just show you off the data. We got some thumb photos. We've got a difficulty level, uh, these types of things. We're going to be using this data in order to build our horizontal repeating group. Let's get started. So over here on the design tab, what we're gonna do is grab a repeating group and drop it in. And just to show you quickly this page, the page setup, uh, it's just a layout column, only have, uh, if we look here in this property or elements tree, we have just a couple pieces of text and then this um, repeating group. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this down to get some nice spacing here. And then for my repeating group, here's the setup to do for a horizontal repeating group. Set it to one row and then let it expand out for columns. Now, some of these things, this is not exactly a video about UI, uh, but you'll see how I build my UI and then you can tweak yours from there. So I'm gonna remove this style because I don't want a separato, but I've made a minimum column width of 300 because that's, that's what I like. And then for a layout here, uh, I'm gonna have everything be centered and then I'll go 300, not fixed width and 280. And uh, I think, yeah, fit height to content, that's fine. Um, let's see what I want to do here on the left and right for the margins. I'm going to have those as 10. And again, take what you will from this, um, that, you know, I'm building my UI. Yours will vary uh, slightly differently. Next, uh, let's go ahead and get the data going for this. So because I'm dealing with yoga class, I'm going to do a search for yoga classes and I'll just grab them. And then I'm going to grab it where the category equals for this repeating group. Maybe I just want to show meditation classes. So that's the category that I'm going to use here. Cool. So now that I've got my layout all set up, um, let's see. I don't think that matters row or column because uh, in this particular case, I'm going to grab a group and I'm going to drop that in. Now let's make sure that that group made it inside there and it did. And so for this group, I would like it to be a row. I'm just gonna call this group inner. And the great thing about this group is that it, uh, we're gonna put some stuff inside of it and then you can use it so that way when, when this group is clicked, because if you remember our example, we had an image up top and a little white border uh, with some information in it at the bottom. Um, and that, uh, all of that will be clickable with this group. So we're gonna grab this current cells yoga class because we've got this yoga class data in here and then we're gonna remove the styling here. And one thing that we're gonna do for this is we are going to make this column and then uh, it's not gonna be fixed with, I'll just say maybe something like this, um, just kind of uh, guesstimating. Actually, you know what, I don't even think, think it needs a minimum width, but just so I have something to be, something to be working with. And then what I'm gonna do here for my padding is I am going to add a left and right one. And if you don't have these options available when, with a group, just note you have to remove the styling of that to get those options available to you. Okay, so next up with that in place, let's go ahead and add in an image. So dropping that into here, and then right away we'll just go and get the parent groups, parent groups yoga classes thumb photo. And I'll choose stretch. And then for this one, I want it to be uh, 260, minimum height of 190. And you know what, I'm just gonna have that be fixed, fixed, uh, fixed width. Center that and then drop in now a group below that. And oh yeah, for this image, one thing I want to do is I want to define each border independently. And then here on the top left and the top right, give it this nice uh, roundness so that we see, you know, we could even, we could even preview how we're doing so far uh, and we can see that nice roundness there. 
And then also while I'm here in this preview, I'm just gonna show off, maybe you're not familiar, familiar with this, but if you inspect, and this is again only on Chrome, and then you grab this here, uh, and you can undock this by this if, it's, if it happens to be docked in here. And then that way you can get, uh, let's go for a nice, a nice iPad view here. See, we've got some scroll bars there, that's fun. Uh, we'll be looking at how to remove those as well. So what else did I do? I added a group here. I'm gonna remove the styling and I'm gonna define those borders independently and also give those the bottom to uh, 10 for the roundness there as well. And then I'll add a background style, flat color, and have it be white. So I'm gonna just call this group uh, white background. And then I'm gonna make this a column because I'm gonna put two pieces of text in it. And I'm gonna set that like that. Uh, I'll just go ahead and have that set at 260. And again, this is not necessarily a UI layout type of video. You can work on what you feel is necessary for yours and then go from there. Uh, next up, let's go ahead and add some text in here. So I'll add this piece of text, remove the styling. For the layout, I'm gonna go margin of 15 and then 20, 20 left and right for that. And uh, it doesn't need to be fixed anything. Probably doesn't even need a, a minimum, but let's go ahead and Let's get a font going in here, make that bold, go to 18. Uh, we're gonna make this 212121. And then the text here, we're just gonna have this class's title. Oh yeah, so we wanna make sure that we pass up the data. So that's available here. It's so parent group geo classes, title. Cool, and then I'm just gonna copy and paste that and Bring this down to 15, bring this to 80, 80, 80, unbold it, and then I'm gonna make this the difficulty level, and then I'm gonna go out, and I've already Googled this bullet character thing, and I've got this thing selected, this little bullet character for this nice uh, effect. Oops. And then we'll also do the category for this one as well. And so let's preview how that is looking. And let's see, did I do top and bottom? Uh, let's see, definitely want this to be only one for line spacing. And then left and right, top and bottom. Maybe I want this to only be like 10. Yeah, looking, looking good, looking better. Oh, you know what, that, that's what it is. Okay, so I want this to only be 20. Cool. All right, so now one last thing we're gonna do, you're probably wondering, uh, is there any way to remove this kind of not so nice looking scroll bar? And yes, there is. So head on over to the forum and search this hide scroll bar on horizontal repeating groups in mobile, and then grab this piece of code that uh, Boston has so generously provided. He has some great tutorials out there if you haven't seen his stuff. Um, and so, so then one thing we're going to do now is we're going to add an HTML element and we're just going to remove these, uh, remove the scroll bars and then bring this down to one by one just so it kind of sits there and, you know, doesn't, doesn't get in the way of anything. So. There you have it. Uh, you could also add, like I said, a, a group. You could click that group and you could make it um, so that it, uh, you know, is clickable and something happens, a pop up, or maybe it does some kind of other action. And uh, there you go. If you've liked this tutorial or enjoyed it, please give it a like or subscribe to the channel for more great tutorials. And thanks for watching.